Welcome back everybody, Tutu UK here, welcome back to another video, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title, um, short and sweet, analog duo, jailbroken, it, it's happened, it's a thing. Um, many thanks to Dylan, uh, Hyper Trigger X, give me the nod last night, uh, I think it only been out, and a couple of hours at that point, so still relatively new. Um, managed to suck the, suck the, uh, the firmware down, applied it last night, had a few... Um, cue card images on there chucked them on it worked so uh, today sort of been messing about trying to get the cd functionality working there's not a great deal to this guy so it's you know it's not gonna be a fantastic sort of like woo, look at all this sort of uh, razzle dazzle because it's not that <laughs> it's not that uh, spectacular but just to show you you know that there's nothing in in any of these um drawers at all so i've not it's not a trick I'm not tricking anybody uh, it is a thing links to the actual uh, file will be down below in the github um download the firmware you apply it to an sd card you chuck it in your your duo and it it, it does it it jailbreaks it there's not much else to it other than that um again i suck down a load of uh uh q card images they're, they're relatively small easy easy enough to do the cd images a bit bigger i'll come to them because there is some caveats with that uh, and I must admit, they have been a little bit trickier. Uh, let's just say that. But essentially, yeah, play asset. Uh, these are all the PC Engine you know, Hue cards. As you can sort of see, you know, there's, there's, there's rings. I didn't really, wasn't selective. A lot of these I'll have to clear up, uh, put into folders, you know, a, put them out for numerical and stuff. You know, you don't need two lots of, or three lots of uh, different files. But yeah, you get the idea. I mean, there's, there's literally like tons tons and tons and tons uh, a lot of them are duplicates obviously like i say very different iterations different releases um you know probably been patched and stuff uh but yeah i mean kyoto tiger which doesn't work which may be the case with a lot of these ones there's uh it's probably going to be um, let's see that one will work there you go instantaneous again it'll just be me i'll have to just go through and clear clean this card up clean these images up essentially to get the ones that are that are uh, working so some of these may have come from other emulators and stuff so they've probably been dicked around with a little bit somewhat put a bit of music on there but yeah you get the idea like i say that you know, it's uh, there's no issues. There's no sort of weird slowdown or you know, sort of anything not working and functioning. Once it's loaded the image, it, it really doesn't care. Um, and again, the you know the stuff with the analog. Anyone who's 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 got an analog device, the build quality. And once you get to this sort of stage where the firmware has been updated, sort of jailbroken, for want of a better word, it just it just opens the machine up. Um, and, and the fantastic bits of the kit, you know, I, I am really late to the analog party, you know, I, I'm by no means sort of saying I'm not sort of teaching anybody anything new here, uh, but I am, uh, I, I am converted, uh, let's just say that. And once you have one, um, one of these devices, it's, it's hard not to be tempted by it. The only one I'm, I can resist, I think, is the, probably the pocket, um, just because I'm not really a handheld gamer, um, but I can see the appeal, and I know people sort of saying, "Oh, you can dock it and do this." But then again, you're getting down the rounds of a Raspberry Pi, and I don't want an all-in-one solution. Yeah, you know, I like it. Like this is the Mega Drive, this is the Super Nintendo, this is the PC Engine. I'd love to get one of the NESs that they did. I know they're like rare hen's teeth. Um, I don't know why they don't re-release them. Anyway, that's enough of that. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm getting uh, sidetracked here. I don't want this to be too long because I say there's not a great deal to it other than you, you apply the firmware um, and then whack your, whack your games onto the SD card. Right, where it gets a little bit tricky, or where I've struggled with, which is not unusual, is um, with the CD games. So the, the, the uh, Hue card you can just stick into a fo into folder and it'll, it'll read them off. You know, obviously you can put them into separate folders, like I say, A, Bs and Cs. With the CD games, they have to be in the separate folders. Now, I've been downloading uh, a load of CD images overnight, um, and they didn't work. 
the files have to be in the bin queue format. This won't mean much to you at the minute, but you, it, it, it will come all clear. They have to be in a bin, bin queue format. I've got some in bin queue format. They didn't work. I had quite a lot in bin queue format. They didn't work. Uh, and I was thinking, shit, I've missed something here. I've missed a trick. Um, so I went to a different website. I downloaded, um, like you see here, Rondo of Blood and Sapphire. Again, both um, CD games. And they work. They work fine. So it's not it's not the fact that it's um, there's anything wrong with the device. It's It will be the images. So if you get um, CD format not supported, I think that's the error message. It's not your, it, You've not done anything wrong. It's not your analog duo that's at fault. It's the image. So just keep that in mind. Don't panic. Uh, and try and find another source. Um, a lot of the ones I'm getting at the minute, I think they're from uh, archive.org. They're in like um, CCDH, which I think is uh, disc juggler format, and IMGs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to try and convert them. Again, it's a whole, it's a whole new thing, and this will go over a lot of people's heads, uh, and I get that. Um, but it's just me trying to explain to you that although it's it's jailbroken and you can put whatever you want on there, they're still not limits but it, it, it's still a little bit of a of a minefield um but i'll i'll get to the point where i'll have a a library that i know work, works um for the, on, on the duo size wise you're probably looking um for both the cd images and like the shoe card you're probably looking at 256 gig memory card on its own which is yeah which you know is, is not small uh, especially for machines of this age um, but that's how it is I mean this game is just fantastic this is Sapphire you know probably one of the most if not the most expensive game on the system I mean this is an 8-bit core CPU chucking sort of somewhat 3d polygons around along, along with 2d sprites absolutely amazing fantastic game uh, I have got the sort of PC Engine Works um, reissue with this, I suppose. Um, but yeah, just fantastic. You know, and like I say, the, you know, the sort of it being jailbroken isn't doesn't really um, do much for for most people in terms of the CD because it will play burnt CDs anyway. But what it what it what it has allowed is is some Japanese RPGs that have got fan translations. You can play them, you know. That's that, that's a real boon for me. Um, you can get some of the quirky, like uh, probably game mom hacks and stuff that you, that were probably otherwise limited to, you know, the Cricks um, solutions and stuff. So yeah, uh, it, like I say, like all the other all the other analog um, machines, it just really opens the machine up. Just makes it more flexible, I suppose. It's probably the best word to describe it. So um, yeah. That's uh, pretty much enough for me, guys. Six and a half minutes. Say, there's not anything else to add. To that if you if you were on the fence about an analog duo uh, for whatever reason, I think now's probably the time to get it because it's 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 cracked it open. If you've already got one, no reason not to to put the firmware on there. And like I say, even if you don't really want to sort of get down the whole having an SD card full of for the games and ROMs and stuff, uh, it just gives you that flexibility. Um, but anyway. Take it easy, YouTube, and I'll speak to you soon.